my name is Haley Heal, and I am defending the Chrysoprila rufolabris, also known as the green lacewing. Hi, my name is Olivia Nell, and I will be defending the Apis mellifera, also known as the honeybee. Our debate topic is whether the green lacewing or the honeybee is more beneficial. The green lacewing is a part of the family Chrysopidae. They are found all over the globe, except for Australia, and are especially widespread throughout North America. The larvae are predators, feeding on aphids, caterpillars, whiteflies, and other soft-bodied insects. Their bodies are soft and elongated, with protruding hairs and tubercles. The adults, however, have long antennae, translucent wings, and soft green bodies. Instead of living a predatory lifestyle, the adults feed on pollen, nectar, and honeydew. The lifespan of a green lace wing is anywhere between 20 and 40 days, with a complete metamorphosis. The lace wing life cycle includes four parts, adult, egg, larvae, and pupae. Mating happens when young, in oviposition a few days after mating. Females lay eggs on the bottom of leaves at night, with the larvae hatching after five days. The larvae feed on prey, and after three weeks spin a silk cocoon as a pupae and emerge into adults around two weeks later. Adult lace wings can typically be found in the evening slash nighttime, feeding and laying eggs. The green lace wing is often used for biological control because of the voraciously predatory larvae. The larvae feed on many pest species and farmers are turning to them as an alternative to insecticides. An interesting fact is that the larvae are often referred to as aphid lions due to their remarkable consumption of aphids. They can also consume up to 200 aphids each per week. They use sickle-shaped jaws to inject venom into their subjects. Then they suck out the body fluids, repeating this process until it grows to continue its life cycle. Larvae can travel up to 100 feet to find food, an insane ratio compared to their size. If conditions are right, lacings will stay and continue to reproduce and benefit the crop. Whether it's on a large scale or a home garden, green lacewings are extremely beneficial to agriculture and crop maintenance. The western honeybee, or Apis mellifera's small beehive, is divided into three types of bees, the queen, the drone, and the worker bee. The queen is the only female who lays eggs, and the drones are males whose main purpose is to mate with the queen bee. The worker bees are sterile females whose purpose is to run the hive and pollinate as well as protect the hive and help produce honey. The queen bee is much larger than the drones and the worker bees. The biology of the queen honeybee is primarily geared towards the reproductive system. Worker bees have eyes for detecting flowers, wings for flying, and their antenna is used to detect smell. Only the worker bees are made to de develop stingers and is purely used for the defense of the hive or themselves. After a worker bee stings a person or animal, the abdominal rupture that comes from the stinger kills the bee and makes this an act of self-sacrifice. The queen bee can live up to two years depending on the number of sperm given to her from the drones. The drones and the worker bees have a much shorter lifespan and range from 20 days to 140 days, depending on the season. Bees are cold-blooded animals and do not have automatic control over their own body temperature. No matter the temperature outside, they keep the inside of the hive at a constant temperature by using their wing muscles. Bees use the flower's nectar and pollen to create honey once brought back to the hive, which in turn helps pollinate the flowers. Bees are also amazing communicators. They are able to communicate with each other where the most rewarding flowers are by dancing and expressing to the other worker bees the direction and the distance of those flowers. Honeybees have much more of an effect on humans than we might realize. Honeybees help pollinate the majority of the plants we eat. Without these plants, we would also not be able to breathe because of the oxygen these plants give off. Being able to understand the relationship between bees and plants helps us to understand how important they are to us. Not only do we enjoy the honey that they produce, but we also enjoy the fruits and vegetables that they pollinate. Although we may benefit greatly from honeybees and their pollination abilities, the green lacewing larvae protects these crops after pollination. It's one thing to be able to pollinate crops, but if you can't protect them from pests and other harmful insects, then there is no societal benefit. The green lacewing larvae are a natural substitute for insecticides. Insecticides have to be toxic in order to be effective therefore being provenly harmful to humans and other beneficial organisms. Insecticide runoff pollutes our water sources and affects aquatic ecosystems as well as terrestrial ecosystems. 
Green lace wings are not only a natural substitute, but an ecologically safe and sustainable substitute. They are also economically viable and can be accessed by home gardeners. Green lacewing eggs can be purchased online for as little as $15 for a package of 1,000. For perspective, 10 lacewing eggs should be used per plant, or 1,000 eggs per 200 square feet. This is more than enough for any small-scale garden, whether on a large or small scale. Green lacewing eggs and larvae are accessible to a wide variety of groups and are a much more sustainable option than traditional insecticides. It is interesting to see how green lacewing bugs are able to provide some economic benefits to humans. In contrast, I believe that after researching this further, honeybees are even more beneficial, both economically and in many other ways. In terms of economically viable uses, the honey that honeybees produce is a huge enterprise alone within the food industry. China is the world's largest producer of honey, and the United States is third only after Turkey. Three-fourths of the honey produced in China is locally consumed, and the last one-fourth is exported to other countries. Honey production has been increasing wor worldwide, but the preservation of bees and their continuing risk of going extinct is horrible for not only economic reasons, but for other reasons. I understand how green lacewing bugs can also be beneficial to eating away pests from gardens and are a sub sub substantial alternative to insecticides, but they can also ca cause harm. After some research, I discovered that lacewing larvae can prey on immature lady beetles who are beneficial insects. The information presented on how honeybees benefit society through honey and pollination is persuasive. Honey has important health, economic, and environmental benefits. However, the effects of the green lacewing outweigh those of the honeybee. While honeybees pollinate a myriad of plants, there are many substitutes for them. With populations declining, Farmers are shifting their focus to alternative pollinators. Birds, wasps, butterflies, and even other bee species have been utilized as replacements to honeybees. While the green lacewing does not directly create in a, any beneficial byproducts, their benefits can be seen across the human diet. Since green lacewing larvae feed on a wide variety of soft-bodied insects, they can be found on a wide variety of crops, anything from peppers to tomatoes and eggplant. Eating these nutrient-dense vegetables and fruits leads to both mental and physical health benefits, while decreasing likelihood for disease and sickness. While honey does have a number of health benefits, the long-run nutri nutritional benefits of the crops protected by green lacewings is much greater. Green lacewings act as a shield, while honeybees merely act as a foundation for successful crops. Because of the decline in population of honeybees, I can see how farmers have had to turn to alternative pollinators. Bees and flowers have had a special relationship for hundreds of, year, hundreds of years, and it is important that we are responsible for keeping that going. Unfortunately, it is true that there are alternatives such as birds, wasps, and butterflies, but unfortunately these animals and insects do not have all the same important benefits that honeybees do. Honeybees create honey as a byproduct of their initial purpose, but we are able to reap the benefit of the sweet candy-like honey production that comes from this. Honeybees take nectar and pollen to create propolis, which is used to seal the honeycomb and make it stronger. Bees evaporate water from the nectar they gather to create ventilation within the honeycomb, and the leftover honey and pollen is used for carbohydrate and sugar consumption for the bees. Bees pollinate the flowers we use as our oxygen converters and help regulate the amount of carbon dioxide in our air. Bees have many more benefits that most of us real don't realize, and it's our job to keep them going for before they go extinct. I have discussed a number of reasons why green lace wings are more beneficial than the honeybee. First, I discussed the impact that larvae have on crops. Their ability to eat beneficial insects can be used as a safer and more sustainable alternative to insecticides. I then discuss their economic benefits. Eggs and larvae can be purchased for a reasonable price, even for the home gardener. I lastly discuss how the green lacewing's overall benefits are greater than that of the honeybee. Their contribution to nutritional crops is essential for human health. Research has been done with green lacewings that prove their populations reduced overall aphid numbers. In addition, certain studies show that controlled breeding of lacewings can result in more females being born therefore more eggs being laid and more larvae being hatched. They are important to continue to study because their benefits greatly outweigh the small costs.
If we can find a way to broaden and increase the scale of impact they have on our crops, then we could eventually use them as a complete replacement for insecticides, alongside their other safe alternatives. As I have previously explained, honeybees have a lot of beneficial factors that for many reasons are more important than that of the green lacewing. Bees are essential in pollination, which helps not only plants, but animals as well. Pollination helps plants to reproduce and grow, and without plants, we would have too much carbon dioxide in our air and not enough oxygen exchange. Without bees, we would not have honey, which has been the prominent multi-million dollar industry and is important to companies all over the world. The effect of bees on this honey industry alone would be an interesting experiment to investigate and to look into further research for. Knowing how bees work and how they are effective in our community is important because it helps us to understand their influence and how they can benefit us as humans. Honeybees are essential and valuable to us not only for economic reasons but for life-giving relations.